Hi everyone, it's Wendy. I'm back with a, just a little craft with me. I got this uh, beautiful book from uh, Jessica Rapp. I purchased it from her shop. Loved the color and I loved that there was nothing on it so that I could just kind of zhuzh it up on my own. I mean it's perfectly fine plain but you know me. I like to do a little something to the cover. And isn't this decadent and gorgeous? This beautiful um, dangle that she has on here, or a set of dangles, and let's see if I can get this off. There we go. I'm just going to take that off just for ease of working on the cover. And I told Jess I was going to do this, and I'm probably going to do not necessarily a series, but I'm going to come back and do some decorating in the journal, more collaging than anything else, uh, because it's it's really full, which I love, and so I can't really put in a huge amount of ephemera. I can do a bit. Um, so I want it to just kind of take this more modern look of a book because the interior, you know, it's all these beautiful vintage pages. Like she's done a gorgeous job, Jess. Beautiful job. And if I take these little bits of card out off the clips, then that's going to give me some space to do some, just some decorating. Make it a little more botanical. So what I thought I would do, first of all, I know I want to put a botanical image here, but I also know that I would like to put a bit of lace on the spine as well. Um, and I was thinking if I put the lace like so, then I can fold that bit down. And I think that looks kind of cute um, like that. So there's that one that I have. And those were given to me by um, Laura who's the lovely lady that I purchased my um, I purchased my recent uh, vintage books from. Actually, I think I like this one better. Yeah. So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to just set this up like so. And I'm just going to use white glue for this. This is Aileen's Tacky Glue, which I have to say is awesome because it does just what it says it's going to do. Now I've kept myself a bit of um, a bit of a, a face cloth that's half white uh, water or dampened and the other half is is dry. So what I want to try and do is just move that glue, make sure it's all over the the uh, cords that have been used to tie in the signature. And I just want to make sure I've got glue right into that little divot there. So we're going to give it a whirl. Okay, so let's see. Okay, I'm going to start at the bottom. Um, this is sea digger pants stuff. <laughs> because it's oval, you really can't go wrong. I might end up with more in the back than I have in the front, but that's fine because let's be honest, most of my most of my um, a lot of the cover is going to be actually covered with that bit that I'm going to do. So if you're wondering why you don't hear Midge, she's asleep right now. And uh, she's, we've been crate training her. And uh, she's upstairs sound asleep in her crate. And so I thought I am going to sneak downstairs and make a video. So here I am. I'm just going to take that damp cloth. And we're going to go to the front as well. There's no... I keep forgetting that I put the cap on. I mean, seriously. And so this is going to cover up where the, the dangle, the grommet is for the dangle, but that's okay. Um, I'll make sure I don't glue it super tight there. Where did I put it? running it, make sure I have it all the way under with my finger. 
a lot of glue. I'm taking a bit of the glue off where that where the dangle grommet is. I'm running my thumb down that little seam. Okay. And then if I just fold that down like so. So I mean it doesn't have to be perfectly straight, like it almost makes it like a little like a little um collar. Just trying to have as few wrinkles as possible in that part. You know what? I'm going to come back and glue that. No, I guess I could do it now. Just going to put a bit of glue on there. Keep changing my mind. Okay. I'm just running my finger here. This is, like I said, just seat of the pants kind of stuff. And if I have it on a, almost like a collar there, I can have it straight back here. And then I'm just going to squish it down. Give it, almost like finger pleat it a little bit. And I think it's kind of cool. Yeah. So it looks like a little collar. I just won a prize on my phone. <laughs> Basically just told me I, I met all my movement goals for the day. Yay! Surprising how quickly we get, um, we get so that we uh, need to hear that validation. I'm just gonna wash my hands for a sec. Love how that looks on the back. I think that's pretty cool. Okay stickiness off as much as possible and I can I can uh, refine how this all looks later on I mean the other thing you can do maybe I will just get those wrinkles out you can take your scissor and just make like a little dart there and then that can come over and flatten down and that's much better and then we still are able to access this and remember that white glue is going to dry clear so we'll be good to go okay really happy with that that worked out really well I know you were all yelling at me Wendy take a little dart out of that and you'll be all set so I mean that right already has given it a more sort of uh, less modern look to the book. Okay, so we've got that done. So the other thing I wanted to do, and I'm just going to check and make sure we have lots of time. Okay, we're good. I'm so sorry, I keep hitting this. You know how when you get, sometimes you get a, a postcard and you're not thrilled with the image. Like this is a vintage postcard from early 1900s. I love the back. But the front, not so much. And sometimes it's just not all that interesting. So sometimes, in those cases, that one I, I think is, I, I quite like. This one is just a bit dark. And this one's okay, but it's just that it's very specific to birthday. Um, I keep those separate because I think, you know what, well, here's the one I chose to use. Why not use that as the base for the image on the front cover rather than... Um, using the front because and there's actual glitter on that and this is from 1906 so that's a while ago so I thought I've, I've pulled together a few things and these are some digis um, that I thought maybe we could these are uh, new digis um, that Jessica mentioned the uh, the seller and her name is Steph Steph's junk something or other and I apologize Steph but I will put her link below um, I just can't recall what it is at the moment so I'm just going to cut this out quickly she says 
It's easier said than done uh, with these large scissors. They did not come appropriately prepared. Is it killing you guys watching me do this with large scissors? I'll be honest, my favorite cutting scissors for fussy cutting are really large Fiskars. And I use them because they have that comfort grip for folks who have arthritis. And I have arthritis in my hands. So they're very, very comfortable. But they're upstairs with my, which is generally where I do my fussy cutting because I like to watch TV while I fussy cut. do this then I can save that little flower and it could be used for something else down the line. So we're going to cut through here. I hope everyone's doing well. Um, and when I get up this morning I had did the a gr really fun thing. Well first of all you take Midge out and you get her get her settled. Uh, and play with her for about 15 minutes because she's a Sheltie. She definitely needs to be exercised, which is part of the reason why I'm meeting all of my movement goals earlier. Um, anyway, she, uh, we, her and I did our little exercise routine, which is basically involves, okay, here's an image. It involves me running around the living room and her running after me or me chasing her, uh, believe it or not, that's what she enjoys. So, so that's what she gets. Okay. And then what we did, I'll guess the lovely part is I turned the TV on and um, our friend, everyone's friend Sue from Paper Inspirations had a live uh, feed going and I was like oh my gosh this is perfect so I chatted with her and some of the fabulous ladies on the channel with her and um, it was great. I think I need to cut in here a little bit more. Yeah it was really terrific watching her make some tags and learning about what other folks are doing. Now she's she's in Australia, so it was evening for her and and uh, it was 6.30 or 6.45 in the morning for me. So I think that would look really nice right there. And do I want a little bit of vintage paper? I might. Okay, I'm just going to a little bit of vintage paper. I was just checking to see if it was one layer or two. So let me grab my glue stick. This is all paper underneath where I'm working, so that makes it super easy. Am I on? I hope I'm on screen. And I'm going to just set that down here. The one thing I don't want to get in the way of is that the stamp. I really, really love that. So we're going to set that down. I'm going to get my glue out and glue this image. Gosh, Steph, I'm sorry that I flubbed up your Etsy shop, but I will link below because she has these. These are like the Arbor Arboretum um, books. These are a lot of the images that would have been in those books. So that's a little bit crooked. Not that it really matters, but let's took the time to cut it out. Let's try and get it somewhat straight. Okay. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. And I missed this bit here. Okay. It's looking great. Still kind of shocking to me, all of those bits there. Okay, there's that, and that looks super there. Now I have a bit of, I did have some lace, yep. 
And I just wanted to think about whether or not I wanted to put a little tiny bit somewhere. No, that's too much. I know what. How about something like this? This is more over towards the edge. And no, I want to keep this side clean. Um, I like the idea of the lace on top of that lace. So I'm just going to take some glue, just very lightly, because I don't want to go over the, um, the uh, stamp, but I do want to run this up here. So I'm just going to go like so, kind of up this edge a bit. So I think I think that will look kind of nice. And I thought maybe a, a Tracy tag would be great. So I'm just going to cut that out. So yes, I hope you're all doing well. It's a beautiful day here today. It's Friday and um, the sun is shining, although it's getting a little bit later in the day, so it's certainly not as intense. We've had some melting, which is terrific. I think I want to put it down here because I, I like having that eagle there as well. Yeah, okay, and I'm going to take my sewing machine and I'm just going to go around this very quickly. Apologies for the noise you're about to hear. reason why I wanted to do the sewing was to add a little bit of texture but to also get that lace down okay so there she is and I'm going to take my glue again and the white glue and I'm going to put it all over here. This would be a great time to use Fabri-Tac. I just haven't had Fabri-Tac for almost a year uh, and I'm making do without it. Um, it's not because of any, you know, anti-acetone <laughs> reasons or anything like that. It's just, it's been hard to get and because of the current situation, I'm not leaving the house unless it's essential. Um, and I refuse to pay the price that Amazon has listing it at. Uh, so I used to be able to get it for a good price at Walmart, but sadly I haven't been to Walmart in, oh, a good 18 months anyway. Okay, so we've got that down. And I need my, I need my uh, cloth here. And let's just see if we've got it somewhat straight. I love that. I mean, we could have put it on so that it was a tuck, but because it's got that glitter on it, like there's, there's a texture to it, so I really have to press on it to make it stay. But I love that. I love how it looks, and you could just hang a little, put a little um, uh, jump ring and put a, if you, you know, if you didn't want to use this one, you could take that jump ring off and put it there, and you could change up your dangle if you want, or you could put some sari silk on it if you wanted, or just leave it plain. Either way, I think it's gorgeous. What I intend to do is to I'm use this for a, another journal that I have and I plan to make a smaller dangle for this one because this is going to be kind of my everyday keeping lists journal. 
uh, for household things that I have to do. So that's it. That is how to basically just kind of vintage up <laughs> a journal um, using some found items. A doily and an old using the back of a postcard and I think that's super pretty. Okay guys, that's it for me. I was a little afraid I was going to go along, but it doesn't seem to be too bad. So I will be back again this week with another project, Story for the Shadows. Uh, like I said, it's getting later in the day. So I'm going to put that under a heavy book and we'll be good to go. Thanks for watching. Join me again when I do just a little bit of collaging inside this book uh, over the next few months. Thanks everyone. Take care. Bye.